So what is NAC? Well, NAC stands for N-acetylcysteine, which is a synthesized compound based on the structure of cysteine, which is an amino acid. It's been around a few decades. And I'll just remind you of the toxicity of paracetamol. So remember we get a met metabolism of paracetamol by cytochrome P450, as well as the usual mechanisms of glucuronidation and sulfation, and that produces the toxic metabolite NAPQI. And normally NAPQI is conjugated with glutathione that allows it to be excreted in the urine as a harmless substance. NAC essentially works as a substitute for glutathione. This explanation and diagram is a gross oversimplification of what actually happens. So what actually happens is NAC is a precursor to glutathione and also can enhance the metabolism of paracetamol through sulfation and finally has some other properties like a, as an antioxidant as anti-inflammatory. But apart from that being the actual truth of what happens, this is what I want you to have in your head, that NAC basically serves as a glutathione substitute and allows you to deal with the NAPQI in a way that is harmless and can then be excreted without it causing damage to the hepatocytes by covalently binding to them.